We're going on YouTube, we're going another one for now. You see the families, you know that I lit because this is about pure seriousness. Keep watching Jigs illustration coming up next. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? No, I back. No, you know I post my video the other day about you know the stuff that I've seen that's going on on Bashman Circle. And yes, I have on a robe. I can wrap my head around a lot of stuff that's going on, and I just wanted to come and speak about this before I go to bed. You know, just to get out there in the open. So I want you guys to ask yourself, or right, to ask yourselves why, why why was there two people in first place why was one of the winners not on stage where you know it's respectable that you've actually been there you made the competition look kind of low by leaving the stage despite the fact that you had to go perform somewhere else i want you guys to ask why why were there judges that are affiliated to certain artists on the event why i want you guys to ask yourself why but certain art artists uh performances wasn't up to par but yet they were able to get higher than certain other artists that performed way better i want you guys to ask yourself why why was people like stiffy left out now, this guy has been consistent over the years. His lyrical content, the things that he deliver are up to par. I want you to ask yourself why all of a sudden he got pushed out of the competition. I want you guys to ask yourself why. Why is it that the day after the show ended, the competition ended, why the website ain't got who the winners is what's our professionalism is that that shows that these people can never be that serious they take this thing serious the papers had everybody announced even before the damn show i even know i have to got it up by now but why why at the announcement who win why they may got something up who the winners were even up to the next day nothing wasn't up I want you guys to ask yourself why DJs only play a certain song in rotation at events. Why certain songs always get played, but there's other other songs out there that don't get airplay. And there's many good songs out there. This season had a lot of good content, a lot of good songs. I've actually witnessed people on Facebook and you know other social media stuff saying, man. You know, the music sing sound like bear shite. I want you guys to ask why would someone say that? And I kind of got an answer for that. You know why? They would say that because nobody ain't really playing all the good songs. They ain't playing a lot of the songs. There's only certain songs that get rotation. A lot of songs ain't getting rotation. There's so many good ones. A lot of the red stations just playing who they want. And then you're hearing a majority of different other things. But nobody ain't playing a whole entire set of different music. I want you guys to ask yourself why DJs on radio stations play certain artists back to back, constant. I want you guys to get a pen and write it down. When you watch, when you listen to the radio station, when DJs on, the type of, the artists to play and the type of songs to play every day. CF, you realize that they're playing the same artist constant. See if it is a loop. I want you guys to ask yourself why. Why DJs refuse to play a, a wide variety of music and they're sticking to certain people. No, I know I said why a lot. But these are the things that got to open your eyes to. No, I watch a video that's circulating on whatsapp now it's a video with sk you know he's talking to somebody and he you know he pointed out the fact that you know he was doing interviews like some interviews back to back and you know he managed to get up and uh, so when they're taking everything 
you, you can see in the corner, you know, you see you got the family of, you know, the other winner, because I ain't got to call names. You guys know who I'm talking about. The other winner, take the trophy, everything, and I'm going about the business. Now, we know SK, a, a, a SK is, uh, you know, a you man just like myself. Well, I'm not young no more, but you know what you know I come in. I, you know, we ain't, we ain't born with the money. We ain't born with gold and spoon. But I realize people got a lot of privileges when it comes to, you know, when you got money, a lot of things is happening for you. You can do whatever you want and nobody can't say that. But I want you guys to ask yourself if SK was the body that took the trophy and take the money and walk away if he would have you know if i would have just slide as easy as this one slide you know i want you guys to ask why a lot of people that are connected to other people like in competition wise why certain people gain more far than other people is it a party thing? Is it a party relation? Is it a party affiliate? If it is because that I used to support this body before, so you know what? You can't get none of this kick to hell with you. You know what I mean? You don't really support me, so we can't back you. I let wanna know. When the people when I got the power, the power is in you guys' hand. A fat or a promoter. When I don't need a promoter, the promoters need the winner. When it's who control, I want to know when the money control all these events. I want you guys to know if when I don't show up, these people can't hold these events. You can when I gotta start forcing these people to do what I want. The power in when I has the money is yours. If when I don't show up, you really think I didn't can hold a show? When I gotta start demanding certain things, you guys gotta start demanding, you know. I pay my money for a fat. I want to hear all the crop over music. I want to hear certain people in rotation constant over and over and over again. I want to hear all the music. Because a lot of politics going on behind the scenes. i seen it and I don't like it. And I know they got a lot of people out there that don't like. They like what's going on. A lot of people have questions. Uh, people still up to now still trying to figure out how they could got a type. And this thing could be easy to solve. As I said in my other vlog, an audio barometer would have solved this. If they really, really don't want brightest light, they could have. There's different ways. I think these people are smart enough. They got different ways that you can break a tie. But they don't want to break a tie. I want you guys to ask why. Why they refuse to break the tie. Why, why one man can't just win it all. You know? And how comes there's still a war of second place? Huh? They should only be. If there's a tie, they should only be. A tie and a third place, not a tie and a second place and a third place. So, what happened there? What happened that the hat also continued to give the second prize and the third prize? What happened there? A lot of politics going on in crop over music, and this can ruin the festival. This is time to get serious people open with their eyes. Money in when a guy's hand, when they control everything, when I might think that when they control nothing, but when they control everything, you think. Before when I at events, you really think that DJs could come out and get paid? You really think that facts could hold facts? We are promoters hold facts? Huh? The power when the hands open when the, uh, the power ain't when the hands open when the eyes. See what's going on about the players. And you know, there's a lot of artists and a lot of things that are going on that artists know about too, you know. A lot of artists that get pushed aside and you know, and they get a lot of feedback on certain things that are going on, but I guess a lot of art, the artists and artists that can through these things and hearing all the badness, all the bad things that are going on, of course they can anger them, but at the same time they're trying to safeguard the career because they want to get black ball. Because if they open the mouth, they know that they might get rejected from certain studios, they might definitely get no airplay at all just because they open the mouth and say things. But people got to come out and start opening the mouth. Everyone that could come out as a unit and say things, say things, because a lot of on the scene moves going on this crop over season. I probably was going on for a long time, but this crop over season, a lot of stuff going on. And this is one of the best crop over season in terms of the content and the music that coming out. But a lot of stuff going on. I still right here in a room and I can't go sleep, but can't go sleep before addressing this and bringing this vlog to you guys. So I want the guys to think about what's going on in the country. Um, when it comes to music, 
boys i know a lot of things going on personally like buses and people getting you know the rate of, of people getting murdered and a lot of stuff going on in the country but this vlog mostly pertaining to soca music and the festival and i believe the festival getting ruined slowly but surely and because nobody really opened them out people think that they could just walk over when a and do whatever I want when it comes, yeah, you know, because nobody's saying that, so you know, whatever. But you guys gotta open your mouth and start saying things. You really think? I believe, and I point, I point myself out there. I believe that SK was a surprise to many. I believe that a lot of people not expect SK to get the, you know, the audience approval like that. And it was a shocker. And if SK didn't get the win that night, all hell would have brought loose. And they figured that nobody don't want that, so they had to get SK the win. But they also had to include other people as well. Open your eyes, people. A lot going on behind the scenes. A lot right in front of your face. You gotta know what's going on, man. Get the politics out of the festival. Be honest, be transparent. Don't have things like when it comes to competition wise, have people that are affiliated to other artists be judging how that could happen. You know what I mean? Open your eyes, people. This is John of Jake Illustration. This has been a serious blog. This isn't a joke. This is me laughing. This is me, um, you know, doing little pointers and, you know, little funny stuff. This is me being serious. The festival being ruined slowly but surely because politics in the festival and a lot of stuff going on on the table and even in front of the faces. But when I got to open the eyes, and not only one person can do it, but many people got to open the mouth too and see what's going on. Speak the mind. Because if, you know, if things continue down the path as it's going right now, the festival will be ruined and people will obviously see that a lot of stuff being fixed good night people i know i gotta get my rest thank you for listening to me i had to say my piece and bigger to my new subscribers that you know i've seen my subscriber list um counts going up a bit so i want to thank everyone who newly added themselves to watch my stuff and you know be subscribed to my channel so as i always say subscribe to the channel um hit the like button but mostly subscribe to the channel so you get notifications and when I drop in the video. So everyone have a blessed good night. This is John from Jig Illustration. And of course, my subscribers of the day is Kimberly Ward. She was one that, um, she's one of my newest subscribers as well as, um, I hope I pronounced your name correct. Uh, Tia Ja Langston, I might have pronounced your name wrong, but you can see at the bottom of the screen on the actual overlay here, you can see your names. Um, just scrolling down but anyway keep the politics of of the music I right, hope guys I gotta get my sleep bless Shh.